Hello everybody, this is Mr. Smith with another art story for you today, and this is a new one that I love a lot. This story is called My Heart is a Compass by Miss Deborah Marcero, and this is all about a story all about this little girl whose name is Rose and how she makes maps. And we're going to read this story here today because the pictures in this story are beautiful, and she is quite the artist. So let's take a look. So we can see Rose's classroom, and it's show and tell Monday in the classroom. My Heart is a Compass by Deborah Marcero. Rose longed to be an explorer, a pioneer, a trailblazer. Her heart was set on discovering something that had never been found, to bring to show and tell. She had one problem. She didn't know what it was or where to find it. It could be anything, something exotic, something magical. Did it even exist? Where could she find such a thing? For that, she needed a map not an atlas or a globe. To find the secret coordinates, she would have to draw her own map. As she sketched and scaled, Rose's hand quivered. Her lines wiggled and shimmied off of the page. Her imagination became a blueprint with her heart, a compass. She scooted off. And here we have Rose's road map. And we can see the big red line for where Rose is going past the library and down past the music school and by the snail pond and over past all these, oh, the rabbit meadow, past all these landmarks, all these important things along the road of her map until she gets all the way over here to the beach. And this map even has a legend that tells you all of the different things that are in her roadmap. At the beach, Rose saw plenty of sea stars, shells, and gulls, but there was no treasure to be found. So Rose charted the sky and launched into the cosmos. And here we have Rose's sky map. And her sky map shows the layers of the sky, of the atmosphere, all the way up to space. And she's got a little compass rose over here that says this direction is up, this direction's down toward the earth down here. And then she's got this dot for her path that she went on in her rocket ship in her imagination. So she went up through the layers of the atmosphere, all the way up to space, and looped around in space and the stars and came all the way back down. And she's gonna be at Cat Island. Let's take a look. Although the atmosphere was full of adventure, shooting stars and billowing northern lights, Rose parachuted to an island, still empty-handed. So she mapped the ocean and set sail. And here's Rose's ocean map. So she started over here on Cat Island, and she sailed around through the Bunny Isles, all the way over to Hippo's Mouth Bay. Right in here is Hippo's Mouth Bay. And she's got another legend to show all the things that are in her topographical ocean map. Rose found harbor in a city where skyscrapers mirrored every cloud and rainbow but there was no rare jewel to behold. So she plotted train tracks into the mountains. Oh, so she got off of the X marks the spot, couldn't find her treasure. So she's making a train to chug off right into the mountains. Let's see, ah, so here's her road, her railroad map. So she started down here in Hippo's Mouth Bay and she's riding this railroad 
through the mountains, past the dragon, all the way up to the last stop. And this one has a legend on the side, kind of like a digital map, like Google Maps or Apple Maps, which is pretty cool. Where she stepped off at the very last spot. As the low sun painted the end of another day, Rose knew she must return home with nothing in her pockets. Nothing to show, nothing to tell. She found herself in the same place she began. There in the living room. The next day in class, Rose's turn came. Her stomach sank. And then she shared her story of searching far and wide, high and low, and returning empty-handed. The class was silent. Then, amazing, rare, a fairy tale, beautiful, wow, magic, ah, bravo, amazing, spectacular. Rose looked around the room and finally saw it too. She had found something no one had ever seen or heard before. The whole class loves all of her maps. It was more than the world. It was everything she imagined. She felt like an explorer, a pioneer, a trailblazer. And everyone who had the chance to hear Rose's tale did too. The end. And here we can see, where would you go? It's written on the board. And everyone in the class is making their own maps of all different kinds of fun, crazy places. So that is the story of Rose and how she is an explorer, a pioneer, and a trailblazer. And she used maps to tell an amazing story and go on an amazing adventure. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this book. I love this one and the maps inside. And I will see you guys again very soon for another art story. Thanks so much. Bye.